Yeah. Um, geez. It's like one of those times when I don't have many thoughts. First time ever, maybe. Uh, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I think that I'm just really proud of this, this group. It's a special group, and I'm not even talking on-field results, although those have been incredible. It's a special group in the sense that it's a real family. And uh, we've been through a lot this year, hard times, whether it's health, whether it's COVID, whether it's, uh, you know, uh, the abuse scandals that have happened. Um, and I think that we've used all of these things to come together and to talk about it and to get stronger. And that doesn't mean it hasn't been hard. It doesn't mean that it hasn't hurt, but at the end of the day, uh, we're willing to have the fierce conversations with each other. And I think that's incredibly important to a group because when you're willing to hold each other accountable and have those fierce conversations and you let each other know how much um, you care about each other. And uh, when you're willing to care about each other that much, you're willing to grow together. Thank you. We'll go into questions here. Grant, go ahead. Hey, Kling, thanks for taking the time. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about your fellow fullback, Natalia Quica, her versatility, her transition to the league. It's her first season in the league, and she's able to handle and thrive at center back, right back, left back, midfield as an eight. And then today we saw her a little bit deeper as a six. I was wondering if you'd just talk about that. <laughs> Yeah, Nancy, what a gem. Uh, actually, me and Lindsay were on the bench together tonight, and um, she was, I think she was getting a little worried about her, her, her spot. So um, I think that tells you everything that you need to know about Natsu. Um, it's incredible to be able to play one position really well, but when you're able to move around on a field and, and do things that um, <clears throat> do things that the team needs then you're, you're a player that is versatile and a player that is, is needed. And so it's amazing to have a player like that on our group. I actually think we have a, a bunch of those players, which is pretty cool. And, but to watch it in action is something different. So hats off to Natsu because uh, there's not many players in the league. There's not many players in the world that can do that. And, and it's incredible to, you know, have somebody like that on your team because it really allows us to, um, you know, be us and be thorns uh, because we were able to have, you know, player like players upon players in different positions. So not too great. Thank you. Uh, AJ, go ahead. Um, one of the things Emily said is that I believe it was at halftime. Uh, Mark Parsons told you guys that you were playing like a team fighting for a playoff spot. And that was the biggest compliment that he could have given you at that moment, given how secure everything was for the postseason heading into this match. Why does that compliment mean so much to this group? Oh, because this team wants to win every time. Our team is beholden to our values and beholden to who we are. And <clears throat> we're not the thorns if we're not aggressive. We're not the thorns if we're not uh, brave. We're not the thorns if we're not on the front foot. And um, we showed that tonight with, you know, uh, in, incredible intensity. And I think a lot of other teams would maybe rest in the knowledge that they know that they're going through. They know that they've secured a home playoff spot. They know that they've secured their shield. But for us, we're always wanting to get better. We're always wanting to learn. And we don't, we're not just beholden to results. To us, the results follow when we are beholden to our values and to who we are. Thank you. We'll go next to Caitlin Best. Um, I'm sure obviously you guys would have preferred to get a win tonight, but I saw everybody celebrating down on the field, looking pretty happy about, uh, I guess, the game or your performance. Um, it, it, is the vibe good heading into the playoffs? <laughs> yeah, I mean, what else could you want? <laughs> uh, I think, you know, we want to always want to score more goals, but at the same time, we put in a good performance and I think that, I mean, it's kind of the same answer to me. <clears throat> as long as we're beholden to who we are and our values, then there's going to be a good vibes around the locker room because that's who we are. 
And we, we don't, I mean, there are tough days. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes we, we come in and, you know, people are, are feeling down or people are feeling tired or people are feeling a little bit um, hurt or whatever. But those are days that we get through because we're always coming back to who we are. Who are we? Um, and as long as we stay true to that and authentic to who we want to be, then I think there will always be good vibes because um, we built these values together. Uh, we talk about them and, you know, that's who we want to be. And so there's always good vibes when you're being who you are. Thank you. We have one last writing question from Melina Gaspar. Uh, the question is, what was the main focus during the past few days during the FIFA break? And also if the team or yourself have a Halloween tradition. <laughs> um, the focus was incredibly high. We know that uh, we can get better on a lot of things when our players are, are abroad or at international dates. So we work on a lot of things when they're gone that we don't usually get to work on because we're always playing games. And so that is a special time for a lot of players because they get individual attention that they don't normally get, including myself. So it's really a, a wonderful time to work on exactly what we want to work on, me individually, what I want to work on. So that's our big focus. Um, and then the other focus is to make sure that we integrate well back together uh, as quickly as possible because the team that does that is going to win. Um, and then in terms of Halloween, I don't know if we have any traditions because like, honestly, the season's never gone this long before, <laughs> but we will be having a little bit of a Halloween, you know, maybe, uh, just, just kind of like costume sort of thing and see, uh, you know, what people come up with. I'm not sure that that's going to go on social media. Hopefully not, but, uh, you know, I got a little something up my sleeve just have to wait and see.